What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to check out a Perseverance photo. This is from Sol 315. Wait until you see this photo. It's probably the best photo I've seen yet with not only details but colors to boot. However, they made it difficult for you to bring it out. Let me explain and let me show you. Let's just jump right into it. All right, here's the page and this is the image of the week according to NASA JPL. Mars Perseverance Asal 315 front left Hascam avoidance camera or Hascam, right? And you can see the description at the bottom of the photo. It says this photo was selected by public vote and featured as image of the week for week 47 from January 2nd to January 8th, 2022 of the Perseverance rover mission on Mars. NASA's Mars Perseverance rover acquired this image of the area and in front of it using its onboard left Hascam, as it said. And of course, this is just a few days ago. This image was acquired on January 8th, 2022, or Sol 315, at a local mean solar time of 1.06 p.m. and 14 seconds after that. Image credit goes to NASA, JPL, and Caltech. Now, folks, when I saw this photo, and this is amazing, now we've been doing this very same photo where it looked like almost like that kind of roadway because it had like rocks certain distance away from each other. Hmm, I'm starting to think this was an actual roadway. And when you see these parts, you're going to understand exactly what I'm talking about. You can download it right here, and you can see the image size is 1288 by 976. And of course, it is a PNG, a little better than JPEG, so it's not too bad. Okay, let's check this photo out in Photoshop. You can see it right here. And of course, again, folks, we got this weird dark thing going on, right? It's funny because notice how we have this little grid on there. Hmm. You can see that all here. Look at the little squares, man. I wonder why they would do such a thing, unless they were trying to hide something as far as details and lines, right? And once you start bringing these things out, it looks like a piece from the game Minecraft, which is really weird. So what we try to do is put a little blur into it and denoise it a little bit and see if we cannot bring anything out. Well, this is what we did. Let's bring out the actual colors and bring up the exposure okay so now again we have these squares look at them all and folks there's only one reason to put this pattern on there again it's to get rid of lines that you may be trying to pull out of the photo or they're just simply visible right and they don't want you to see that however there's ways around it we can get around that now the first thing i noticed and you probably won't see this until you really have a good look at this some stuff is ghosted out. Hmm, what do I mean by that? Well, let's look at it right here. You can see what looks like, and I do emphasize looks like, rocks right here. Of course, we have this really pointy rock here on the left-hand side, which I find interesting. But right here, look closely. You can see something ghosted out. See that? That's yeah, going down like this. Another one right here, going down like this. And you can see that, but there's something in the way right here. And it almost appears like it's continuing on at the bottom. Hmm, what could that possibly be? Let's jump over to the right. Another shape right here. What looks like some kind of weird piece here going down. Looks like we got another round feature in here. And that's what it kind of looks like. Now, if we get rid of those lines, you can see it right here. Again, look carefully. You can actually see that. But what would happen if you put this little grid on top? You don't see the real lines. The lines are in it, but by putting this pattern on here, it confuses the eye. And that's the whole key to this. Confuse the eye. You don't see it. And yet, it's actually there. Now, anytime I see something like this, I look at the ground down here anywhere below these pieces, and we have another look, right? What I'll start off by doing is using the burn tool, and I'll start to burn away and see if I can find anything of any value. Now, when I did this right here, started just going lightly over this, notice that little piece is starting to come out right here. 
Hmm. Doesn't appear to be too ghosted out anymore. Check that out. Starting to see it even more so. See that? It's starting to pop. I just did it very quickly just to show you. But you can see that piece is in fact there. And again, this one here to the right. And this is the whole idea why I do this stuff, folks, is to bring this stuff out. Notice this piece here. Looks like something's going like this, coming back down. Okay. And folks, wait until you see the bottom of this. This looks like some kind of weird rock. Notice how it looks like it does have some kind of roundness to it on this end. But then it kind of looks like it's doing this. I'm going, hmm, what is that? Well, it's not what you think it is. There's so much more under this and around and under these pieces. This is amazing. Because when you see this, it almost appears to be doing this. Look at the lines behind it going up. And then it looks like it goes back down. There's a small piece here. And you can see that this right here, there's something white right there. This here is actually blocking that out. You can still see the white going underneath this a little bit. I don't know if you can see that right there. It's going underneath this uh, black area. So this has been added here to block out whatever that is. But again, look at the back here. You can see the line going up like this. And then there's some kind of dark circle or something along them lines. And we're going to bring this out a whole lot better. Now, let's just jump right into the full enhancement. And I think you will find this very, very cool. All right, let's have a better look. All right, we'll start over here. Check this out, folks. This alone was cool. You don't notice that because it's really dark. Look at it. But they are, in fact, there. You only seen the one earlier than this one here popped out. Okay? These other objects. Like I said, this pointy piece. Not sure what to make of that. Not sure if it's pointy this way or pointy this way. You can see something right there doing that. And I'm going to zoom into this. See that? Okay? These are other objects. This is a different color, but if you start to get into this, you see what looks like something doing this. So this has been manipulated and covered up. Notice the squares all up in there. This is the piece I talked about earlier, right here. Remember how I only showed you like it looked like it was only half? Well, look what's going through it. If we can put this right over something, we can break up the part so you don't see this. Okay? It's right here. You can see this part here. And you can see this right here. And just below it right here. See that? Okay. Now, let's back out. Check out this whole rest of this photo, folks. Now, I showed a buddy of mine this photo, and the first thing he pegged out was this right here. Dude, that's a military vehicle. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can see the wheel. You can see the... The, the rear wheel well, and I went, I'm not sure about that, but all right. Um, and, of course, you got the nose of this vehicle coming down in the front, coming down like this. I don't see a windshield, but he said, oh, look at the turrets right here. Is that what this thing is? Look at the parts in here. I showed you this right here earlier, which is, in fact, in the photo. It's right there. Said it went down, went like this. Some round circle here. Enhance it. There's much, much more. Here's that round circle. That's going like this. And of course, again, going down like this. This is that piece I showed you earlier. Here's that part I was telling you about right here. Almost looks like it's got this weird slot in it. That's what it is. It's a Martian toaster, folks. No, I'm playing. But check this out. Again, this white piece. And again, you can see the white coming through this a little bit. It looks like it's in some kind of weird slotted area. See that? Going down like this, this going like this, round piece, round piece. There's something else that looks like it's going like this and going down. Folks, what is this thing? Check that out. You can still see the line right here. If you look closely, right here, very faint. Another one right here, very faint. 
But again, burn this and this stuff literally comes out. You can literally take the burn tool and just go over it just back and forth like this real quick on there on the lower pieces where it's darker and pull the stuff out. It's actually in the photo. Bring it over to here. Not sure what this is under the so-called rock and I'm not so sure this is a rock. Look what's on top of it. What is that? Is this something you should see on a natural rock? I say absolutely not. Not sure what to make of that. You can see how it has a line going down and very faintly, look right here, you can see this thing going like this. Very faintly. See that? Right there. Now folks, let's go back to this part for a moment. I want to show you something. Notice how they paint over this, again with this piece here. Literally, airbrushed or painted over to hide and break up with this larger pieces here so you don't see it. And you can really actually see that right here. And yet I can still see this ghosted out part right there. Right there. And again, this one over here to the right, right here. Check that out. Now I'm gonna go back and forth from there to the original You can literally see where they tried to hide this stuff. And we'll go to the original, and there you are. This is what I'm talking about. The lines are in the photo, but again, put a bunch of these little squares there so you can't see the lines. It disguises the lines that are really in the photo, and it tricks the eyes, and of course, we can throw some artificial color there, and we'll make it look like there's nothing really here. And again, any time a photo is kind of dark, and right off the bat, guys, I just go, yeah, there's something hidden in this photo. You know, without a doubt. Zoom back into this a little bit. Folks, have a look at this. Pause it right here. This is probably the clearest and the most color I've seen in what looks like a junk pile. Without a doubt, this is a junk pile. And of course, we are trying to deal with the manipulation as well that they put over. Like I said, this uh, other pot way over here on the left where you have this piece literally going through it, like airbrushed through or CGI'd in, whatever it is. And then we just fade it out, ghost it out, make it look like it's almost pretty much not there. And that's what you end up with right there. And there you go, folks. Folks, I said it before, I'll say it again. They're on a recon mission. They're simply looking at things that were left over from a civilization that had a catastrophe that pretty much took this planet out. Now, is there life still on the planet? I'm 50-50 on it. And again, remember I showed you folks on the other video I did where it looked like a line of rocks and another line of rocks that looked like an even space between them all the way down the length of the photo. Now, when you see junk piles like this, maybe it was in fact a roadway. As always, folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm curious to see what you've got to say. Don't forget to like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, got more moon coming up, more Mars. And yes, we still have that Antarctica to go through, as well as some other bodies in our solar system. So stay tuned for that. Again, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.